90s kids know Larissa Olenek as the superhuman star of The Secret World of Alex Mack and Bianca from 10 Things I Hate About You. But as the decade concluded, so too did this former child star's fame. So what happened? This is why Hollywood won't cast Larissa Olenek anymore. It took years for Larissa Olenek to snag a main part in TV and movies after her initial success as a young actress. According to Entertainment Weekly, this former Nickelodeon star instead guest-starred on shows like Psych, Without a Trace, and the wildly successful Mad Men, where she played Ken Cosgrove's fiancé. Regarding her bit part on Mad Men, she told AMC.com, I'm such a nerd for the show, and obviously I've done a lot of TV guest work, but this is the first time I've gone into a show just being such a huge fan and having seen every single episode. In 2011, she also snagged a recurring role on Hawaii Five-0 as Jessica Kay, then appeared on Pretty Little Liars the following year. And in 2016, she landed an episode of Law & Order Special Victims Unit, opposite stars Mariska Hargitay and Ice-T. Those were all pretty good gigs, but they ultimately didn't lead to any dazzling opportunities. Perhaps Olenek was content with guest-starring roles and didn't want to dive back into being a full-time Hollywood celebrity. Or maybe her attempts to get back in the limelight just haven't been working in her favor. Regardless, she did tell AMC.com that after spending a long time trying to establish herself as an adult actor post-90s fame, being recognized for her role on Mad Men really boosted her confidence. Fame hasn't always been easy for Larissa Olenek. She doesn't necessarily need constant security like Taylor Swift, but the former child star is still a 90s icon, and that sort of fandom can get fierce. In 2012, The Secret Life of Alex Mack lead saw a scary side of fame when a crazed fan started stalking and harassing her. According to the report, Olenek's stalker Josh Hathaway changed his name to Josh Olenek in 2010 after becoming obsessed with the star, but the harassment didn't start until two years later. Hathaway began repeatedly calling Olenek's mother and leaving gifts for the 10 Things I Hate About You starlet at her mom's apartment. This reportedly included leaving a voicemail where he admitted he had changed his name and wanted to propose to the actress. Hathaway also allegedly wrote books and love letters with disturbing passages. Yikes. Olenek was, of course, concerned, and she admitted she was worried he might snap at any moment. A judge ultimately granted the actress and her mother a restraining order that expired in January 2016. That kind of ordeal could certainly drive an actress underground. If you haven't seen Larissa Olenek lately, it may be because she's hiding out in the world of indie films. Though 2019's tech-themed Augie was a critical success, racking up an 80% from critics on Rotten Tomatoes, her other flicks haven't really had the same sort of critical acclaim. It's not that they were bad, they were just largely ignored by the press. Films like OJ, the musical, and BFFs received audience ratings of more than 80% on the site, but had no critical consensus whatsoever. Part of Olenek's disappearance from the spotlight also also has to do with the fact that she's picked up roles in the horror and sci-fi worlds. These genres are unfortunately largely shunned by mainstream critics and usually go straight to video on demand. This includes Jezebel, which received extremely poor critical ratings, and Atlas Shrugged Part 2, which was so heavily scorned by critics that producers eventually had to crowdsource in order to finance subsequent movies. I am literally freaking out over here! Despite her roles in these thrillers, Olenek isn't the biggest horror flick fan. Though she starred in 2017's Animal Among Us, the actress told Morbidly Beautiful, I pretty much steer clear of horror movies. I'm into vampire and werewolf stuff, things that are more mythology-based. But no, as far as horror movies go, I watched Scream and that's as close as I've gotten. Lifetimes made for TV movies are often stereotyped as a place for thespians whose careers are on the way out, like fellow child star Tia Mowry, who starred in a couple of films for the network. Larissa Olenek's career has lasted long enough to endure a lifetime holiday movie or two. May she find solace in whatever support group Ashanti currently frequents. Wish Upon a Christmas, which premiered in 2015, tells the story of an actuary who heads to her hometown to close down a factory and, shockingly, runs into her high school sweetheart. Part. Don't they always? This TV movie received a 0% audience rating on Rotten Tomatoes, but hey, Lifetime Christmas movies are an acquired taste. Beyond Olenek's Christmas movie debut, the actress appeared in another Lifetime movie called Stolen from the Womb. This 2014 made-for-TV movie is exactly the type that made the network famous, as it involves a psychotic stalker, a pregnant woman, and a kidnapped newborn. What more could any Lifetime fan want? Though the actress enjoyed some of the trappings of fame, 
It seems like living a normal life was always a priority for the star. In a 2017 interview with BuzzFeed, the actress revealed that Nickelodeon pushed for their child actors to lead regular lives. But this became more difficult as the secret life of Alex Mack gained popularity. Being recognized made Olenek self-conscious. As a kid, she was constantly shuttled back and forth from Northern California, where she went to school, to Southern California, where she would shoot the show. She told Morbidly Beautiful, I was trying to maintain some sense of normalcy, whatever a normal childhood even means. But it would get confusing sometimes when I'd be hanging out with my friends and someone would recognize me. The secret world of Alex Mack was never canceled. It was Olenek who chose to walk away after the show's fourth season in 1998. She told BuzzFeed that it was instilled in her from an early age to not feel pressured into doing what didn't make her happy. Walking or turning into a puddle and sliding away from Alex Mack had huge implications, and Olenek turned down a massive offer that probably could have changed her life. According to HuffPost, co-creator Thomas Lynch tried to woo the then-teenager and her team with a fancy Hollywood dinner, where he offered her a fifth season, a feature film, and a ton of money to stay on. She was not swayed and still has no regrets. She told BuzzFeed, It was an incredible thing he was offering me, and I knew that at the time, but I was a little burnt out. Olenek took a detour to college after filming 10 Things I Hate About You, which could have been the one role that catapulted her career into a string of blockbuster hits, or at least popular rom-coms that don't air on Lifetime. Nonetheless, this decision was built into the very fiber of her being. Her parents, both medical professionals, always put a strong emphasis on education. So Olenek ended up applying to college alongside her 10 Things I Hate About You co-stars Julia Stiles and Joseph Gordon-Levitt, who both ended up going to Columbia University while Olenek settled on Sarah Lawrence, which was ironically referenced in the film. Uh, honey, that's great, but isn't Sarah Lawrence on the other side of the country? Thus the basis of its appeal. While obtaining her degree, the star all but forgot about acting and only occasionally went to auditions. She even considered quitting acting cold turkey. At the time, it felt like Olenek was perpetually being typecast as the girl next door. Though she said that there are worse things in this world, she claimed that Sarah Lawrence helped her get out of that hole. She told E! News, If you're really determined to take on different things, you can always find a way. Of course, Olenek didn't stay away from acting forever, and she's since returned to her theatrical roots. According to BuzzFeed, the actress started her acting career at the age of eight with a San Francisco production of Les Miserables. That's where she met Ryder Strong, known for his role on Boy Meets World. Years before they shared their first kiss on the series, Olenek decided to follow Strong's lead by picking up the same agent and acting coach, ditching the theater, and heading out with his family to auditions in Los Angeles. The rest, as they say, was history. However, Olenek made her come back to the stage as an adult with Bag Daddy, an off-Broadway musical. She first appeared in the 2015 production at the Actors' Temple Theater and later performed in the 2017 production at St. Luke's Theater. At the time, she told BuzzFeed the show was a huge and energetic commitment, so she felt like she couldn't focus as much on furthering her Hollywood career until the musical ran its course. At one point in the 90s, Olenek's star power was undeniable. At the height of her fame, Nickelodeon was in the heyday of SNCC, and the secret world of Alex Mack was on its way to becoming a full-fledged classic like All That or The Adventures of Pete and Pete. Coincidentally, Olenek also made appearances on those shows, as well as The Babysitter's Club, Boy Meets World, and Third Rock from the Sun. Since Olenek had her hand in some of the projects that defined the era, you'd think she'd get stuck in a classic child star rut, unable to escape any of her hyper-recognizable characters. But that doesn't seem to be the case for Olenek. Instead, she embraced it. She told E! News, That decade resonates with me pretty heavily. Everything in my life is like a throwback to the 90s, including all my musical preferences and wardrobe. It's like I've pretty much been living there ever since. It doesn't seem like Olenek ever worried about getting with the times, which could have affected the type of roles she was offered. Even today, she still wears some of Alex Mack's wardrobe staples, which she took home after the series wrapped. Larissa Olenek became famous in an era where actors could walk off their sets and stay relatively anonymous. Her work didn't follow her home because, at the time, most of her fans hadn't even yet learned how to code HTML on their Neopets pages. There was no Twitter, no Instagram, and Perez Hilton had yet to usher on the nastiness that was pretty much patented by tabloids in the early aughts. She noted, I was able to completely remove myself and just go on with my regular kid life. Even as social media started becoming more influential, Olenek didn't spend a lot of time nurturing the type of online fan base that commonly helps celebs become A-listers today. She Instagrams sporadically, and her Twitter account isn't verified. 
She hasn't even tweeted to her less than 10,000 since 2019. It's not even clear if the barely updated page on Facebook that's listed under her name belongs to her. Olenek is self-admittedly still trying to figure out how to live a life that solicits constant public scrutiny. However, she's glad that social media didn't exist when she was doing press as a young actress. She commends young stars who navigate it with ease today. As of 2020, Olenek has officially made the transition from Girl Next Door to the Mom Zone. The actress made her Netflix series debut as a mom in The Healing Powers of Dude, but she's trying her best not to get stuck in another typecasting hole. She told E! News, Even if I'm saying I'm in the Mom Zone right now, but I'm very happy to be there, then I can take it upon myself to go do play or even just being in class where I get to explore other roles. Unfortunately for Olenek, Hollywood's notorious problem with ageism might make that difficult. As of 2020, Olenek is nearing age 40, which is often described as the sunset year for female actresses. According to the Washington Post, women in Tinseltown celebrating their 40th birthday can look forward to losing access to about three-quarters of the leading film roles for women. Why just say it like that? It's unclear how Olenek's career will play out in the future. But there is one mom role she probably won't reprise. There have been talks of an Alex Mack reboot, where Mack is a mother whose children may or may not have her powers. However, Olenek didn't seem excited when she discussed the idea with E! News, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.